Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. I do this all the time. I forget that I forget that um to press the record button. Anyways, well, it's not that bad. It's just uh, about two minutes later. So it's 11 hours and 55, 58 minutes into the uh, third day of December. I did check <laughs> before. Uh, but I hadn't pressed the button, and all of a sudden the warning came up, so your, bu your button hasn't been pressed, and so, uh, starting all over again. Anyways, we were at our pit stop, gonna have something to eat, just something light, uh, watch some of our cartoons, and head on off back to bed. Typically, what happens is I finish around 4 o'clock in the morning in terms of being on the YouTube stroll and what I need to do back here. All this stuff is more or less done. Uh, the last bit of stuff is well, when I go over to my bed. Uh, I have an internet connection there. I have a device there that it needs to be checked. I also have to, well, before I get back to the bed, I have to go check the unit. Make sure that everything is okay here. Uh, so by the time I do everything, do the final checking of email and so on and so forth. Um... It's usually around 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm, I'm heading to bed at 6 o'clock in the morning as everyone else is coming coming in. I'm going to bed, and so this sort of kind of sets my schedule. Uh, I'm trying to post more more to uh, Snapchat and um, Instagram. I found other areas to post to. I'm going to try to improve uh, my visibility. Uh I was happy to see that, um, that, oh, I got hiccups, that Carly is doing, is back with her mother in our family and they are posting more. Uh, I understand Carly's, uh, 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 sort of condition, her, the way, the way she, where she is, and not an easy thing, but at the same time, everybody has their own particular issues, but I think she's kind of getting settled into her routine, the daily routine, and so this gives her more of an opportunity. So what happens if, 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 if she weren't a YouTuber, uh, she'd ha and she's tried that, she's tried the sort of the 9 to 5 job working at a restaurant the way her friends have done. And it's a lot more difficult than, uh, than, <laughs> than uh, do, actually doing YouTube. If you've got a, a way to be successful at YouTube and got a lot of views, and can do the various different uh, contract work. It's not like a regular, regular steady job, but if, if your channel is popular enough, and her channel is, that she, and she's gotten the views, then she's got more than enough opportunity to really sort of build a, 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 a business out of it and uh, have a steady income, where typically she would have to work 9 to 5, and she'd have to, you know, be out of the, ho out of the house. She wouldn't be home that much, and... Uh, that would be her life, and, it, and it, when work is not easy, there are always people yelling at you, screaming at you. Uh, there are demands. Uh, is different when you're when you're working for somebody else. Uh, so as a, every every life has its pros and cons. I'm happy that sort of see that Carly sort of settling into her. I know there is a there's a transition period. It does take a while to sort of sort of transition transition into uh, whatever you're going to do for life and. Uh, once you sort of done that, uh, you'll find that on average things will go will go pretty well, and th it's the same thing here. It's, it's uh, I did a lot of work last night, uh, a lot of observational work. I've got a new sound system. Yeah, yeah, the sound system. It plugs into the uh, microphone jack. I've got a small microphone here uh, on the side. It's, it's not nothing really it, it, too exciting. But it, it does improve the sound here, but it wasn't doing a good job outside. And so I was able to get one of these tiny little uh, mixers. Uh, I had uh, shown it in a previous video. Tiny little mixer. Maybe I'll show it again. Uh, maybe tomorrow night or you know, when I come back in. Uh, if I do another vlog. Well, I'll probably, let's say, let's say tomorrow's pit stop. Uh, if, I, uh, if I'm doing a pit stop tomorrow, then what I'll end up doing is I'll show you the mixer that I have. And the microphone that uh, hooks up to the... Uh, <coughs> The microphone port, uh, microphone and headphone port on the uh, on the device, and uh, I have a now sound. I have a sound system that I attach uh, uh, to uh, the camera here. Well, basically the phone. I call it a device, but it's basically a phone. Uh, 
and I get good audio out of it. it, it, it a matter of fact, I get a better audio profile from that microphone than 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 typically would be on on that phone itself. So, you know, things as I said, for me, th things are improved, but you can also, there are ways of dealing doing things that uh, aren't expensive. They are workarounds, but at the same time. The, the job is done and you can move yourself forward and it, it's, it, it's not a bad life I'm, all, I'm always almost every month every two months upgrading to something brand new so but the thing is I'm not bringing in a lot of money I'm not as popular as, as she is and so what happens is that but the thing is I still ha I do have that nightlife where uh, most of my research work is done at night and so uh, I don't head off to bed until 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I said, this is a pit stop, because I am kind of burnt out, and people can sort of, you can sort of see that if you watch my videos, that uh, there are issues, of, uh, there are burnout issues there, uh, and it's just the level of fatigue, it's, it, it's non-stop, it's 24-7, and so when you do have a chance, you do have an opportunity to sleep in, you take that opportunity to sleep in, and that becomes your week, and that becomes your uh, your uh, time off. Uh, otherwise, my mind is always going. So, I think I'm going to leave this here for now and uh, head on off off to uh, uh, my cartoons now. Well, it's 23 hours and 44 minutes into the uh, third day of December, and we're doing our transitions vlog right now. Or, or sure to do the transition segment of the vlog. This is kind of the beginning of our day. This is when the day really starts to begin. Uh, although I do get up early, I, I start getting up from around five six five six o'clock in the eve in the evening after going to bed around six o'clock in the morning. And this is what causes a large chunk of my missing days is that the. Uh, Big cars coming in. Ugh. I got my microphone set up here, so sometimes things come in. Sometimes there's a louder, louder noise than others, and other times it's all right. So, anyways. Uh, I think, of course, that's my coat hits the uh, connector. I think that's where a large chunk of the issue is. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, it takes an enormous effort to get out here. It's about 30, 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's about zero degrees Celsius. And it is freezing cold because there is a wind. Uh, we had one train go by uh, during the observation vlog. But what happens with the uh, Nazis log, it, because it requires so much information, the notes aren't uh, exactly there, and I have to sort of uh, sit down and figure out where we are in terms of the Nazis notes, uh, or my, my Gnostic notes, then, uh, uh, then it sort of put together a better uh, script or a line. Uh, these are basically points uh, that form a sort of a script. They, 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 these are point form uh, it, things. That allows me to sort of move ahead with the uh, Nosey's vlog, but you know these things take time. There are always these sort of adjustments that be to be made. So uh, that's kind of the way things are done. That's the way it works, and you move forward from there. Uh, I was watching uh, Reese again, uh, Carly Reese in the uh, in her in her mom's vlog. I think I think things are getting better for Carly. Uh, I, I I hope things don't go badly for her. I think, but. Oh, the whole from what I've seen is pretty good. I mean, just now remember, remember, I was supposed to do something in my vlog, but there wasn't, wasn't enough time to do it. The whole thing that I'm doing here is part, in some ways, has a university attached to it. It's an open, free universe, open and free university. Uh, there's no entrance restrictions. And we don't, uh, determine what you say and what you don't say. We don't shape your thoughts. We provide you with the opportunity to expand your mind, to expand your thoughts, to explore around. It's the way I'm exploring. So basically, as you come as a student, you're uh, 
I'm 30 years in terms of my experience in terms of the research. You're 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 superior. That's about. And then the only difference is time. You're just starting, and I'm 30 years on. That's the only difference. <clears throat> I share with you my experiences. This is what I'm doing here, sharing you. So this becomes part of the lectures, uh, uh, as I share my experiences. The my experiences, my observations are um, the lectures. You go on from there and put together your own library of whatever information you want, or whatever direction sort of suits your uh, suits your uh, well purpose, but also meets your interest at that particular point. I mean, go from there. I mean, you have a history of fashion. I mean, we talk about Spain coming in. We have a whole a whole history there uh, in Spanish fashion. Uh, our fashion, in many cases, in terms of the sense of fashion, comes in uh, not from the Spanish, but rather comes in from uh, the English. <sighs> but the English themselves were, you know, you go back and look at these early paintings, and you have people uh, freaking out about the LGD. LGD, LGD, oh, look at the train. So that's another westbound train. To hear the horn like that, it has to be uh, further off in the distance where uh, there is another bend in the track. Normally, if the train was going eastbound, you would hear the horn very directly right from the, um, from the, uh, the right wave guide or the eastern wave guide. That's where the horn, you'd hear it very loud, very clear. And then the sound would start trailing out. The volume would start trailing off. The longest horn is typically uh, one when they're going around the corner and two, the second long horn uh, is when they're crossing the street. There's a street there that's crossing there and that's when they do the second long horn. So you listen for the first long horn as they're coming around the corner, a short blast as they complete that. Then as they approach the street, there's another long one until they finish crossing the street. And that sort of gives you your indication as to, to where they are, because if, if it's for, if you hear the, the horn coming closer to you, then you know louder. That means it's coming from the east. If it's, it starts loud and goes away, you know gets softer. Uh, then it's going to the well. It's, it's coming from the east, going to the west in terms of uh, getting louder, getting softer. It's coming from the west, going east. Uh, Mix that up sometimes. I shouldn't be doing that, but anyways, uh, I think everyone's. I think everyone's doing all right. Uh, Allie seems to be in a so-called stable state. Uh, things aren't necessarily moving forward for her, but uh, uh, that kind of remains to be seen. Sometimes people just sort of take a, you know, a, when they crash, they take a, a bit of a break and they sort of just sort of lie there and just sort of mill about until they figure out what. What the next direction is, and that that, that happens. That that's that's part of reality, and that's kind of the same thing out here. Is that uh, a large chunk of work is like almost like fishing. You don't know when you, you don't know what you're going to catch or, or when you're going to catch it. Sometimes you get a lot in one night, and other times you get practically nothing. But you still have to sit out here night after night uh, doing the work, doing the observation. This is kind of how things end up working out. I am warmer now than I was when I first came out. When I first came out, my body wasn't acclimated to here. It was just completely a mess. And I didn't know how long it would last, but now I seem to be fine in terms of how I feel, including my fingertips, were, which were before they were, they were a, l a little frosted uh, in, in, in the uh, first, uh, let's say, half hour out here. But I, as I have to wait for uh, the dance classes that finish here. I'm at the I'm at the uh, dance classes of uh, soul attention. Uh, the the one I know is uh, Julia. She's the uh, I think she's the owner of Soul Attention. She's the main person there, and then she's got others that work with her as well. And I've gotten to know them, but I can't remember their names. 
unless I, unless I hear the person's name enough, I won't remember because I, I'll go in tonight, do my notes, get lost in my research, and, and you know, I'm not supposed to be doing any research. But the thing because I'm supposed to be organizing my notes, but uh, uh, there are still several things I'm going to work on before I start organizing my notes. So basically, we are in the winter break. We are on Vlogmas. And everyone started doing Vlogmas. And the question is, is that uh, for Vlogmas, uh, my Christmas list, everyone's doing a Christmas list. What do I want for Christmas? Well, I don't really need things. I get, I get Christmas all year round. I got a lot of gifts all year round. Uh, in terms of how I food shop and stuff like that, I get everything on discount. I found all the discount stuff I need. So I've got enough gifts, if you will, call the discount stuff gifts, uh, that I'm all right. I'm, I, I'm more than surviving. I'm thriving. I've got good food. I've learned how to do all the street cooking that you would see in the Asian street cooking. I've learned how to do all of that, so no issue there. Uh, so I really have everything that I want. Uh, what I like and what I enjoy the most for Christmas is one the church. Uh, it's just like a fa it's a family atmosphere. It's a, fa it's a family festival in church, uh, and uh, with the family at uh, for, for Christmas for for. Christmas Day, that's uh, sort of my uh, that's kind of my uh, my my thing, and I just enjoy being with them. I just so this is that's what the whole thing is. It's just hanging out, just not really doing much of anything. Uh, I occasionally see my cousins. My, my 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 see, I have cousins that are family in terms of blood family, but the way uh, the Greeks work here in Toronto is that everybody's family. Everyone you call you don't call them Mister and Mrs. You call them Thea and Theo. Uh, that's basically aunt, uh, uh, th aunt and uncle, uh, and then you have the older people who are called the uh, papu and yaya. Uh, they uh, don't necessarily have to be blood, but the thing is, the, 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 the church itself as a family, uh, these are the terms you use rather than uh, the Mister and Mrs. Uh, you know, uh, Kirio and Kiria. And Kirio is the Mister, and Kiria is uh, is the Mrs. Mm. Uh, so that's 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 my Christmas. That's that's the extent of my Christmas list. That's as far as it goes because I really don't need anything else. I have everything I want. Uh, this whole setup that I have now here with the with the micro mixer and the and, and the microphone is amazing. It sounds really good. It, it, I haven't it hasn't gone. I haven't published anything from here yet. Uh, that comes with the December first, and we're about. Uh, Twenty days out from December first, in terms uh, uh, in terms of our, our our posting, and so it's going to be a while before the new setup in terms of the sound comes out, and we sort of you can hear the differences between between the two. Although I do a, a large chunk of the fix up in terms of the audio and even even uh, the video, uh, I do it in post. I, I can bring up the volume in post in the on the editing desk. So uh, I think that's going to be it for now. I want to go in. Uh, I'm at uh, continue along with the uh, uh, the YouTube stroll. Uh, I've done the Leroy's. I've done uh, it's uh, it's our life. Um, I think I might go back to uh, to um, Family Five vlog. Right now, I'm at um, uh, uh, Family Forever vlogs. Uh, they're an interesting family. They're Cuban. They're uh, and they were living in Florida. And this is the whole bit here is we talk about, you know, Nova Hispania. Is that uh, you got a lot of Hispanic people moving into the United States because again the United States is screwing around all over the world, uh, kind of doing regime change and creating uh, migrations. So uh, you want to stop the migration? Oh, I, I can't stand those illegals. Well, okay, stop overthrowing their governments. It's that simple, <laughs> you know. If you don't create a war in somebody's backyard, they're not going to come to your place. <laughs> Go create a war in someone's backyard. Guess we're, Guess who's moving in? <laughs> Hello, we're here. You destroyed our house. Thank you for the war. You don't mind if we move in and you know have your food and have this and have that? Uh, what? <laughs> because you started a war in their backyard. You destroyed their house. And so you destroy someone's house, they're going to move in. Anyways... <laughs> see you uh, probably around six o'clock. No, I'll probably see you around noon. Uh, that will be my uh, that will be my uh, break. Uh, the pit stop. 
And then tomorrow night, uh, we'll be here once again. All right, see you then. Well, this is an early start to the YouTube stroll because uh, it's too cold and I'm too tired to do the observation vlog for tonight. Uh, it's also, I'm doing a bit of uh, note-taking, more extra note-taking, to clarify various different aspects that I want to talk about because as you go into uh, deeper depth, sometimes you do have to clarify things. There are things you remember uh, barely because I've gone through so much, and so you have to go back and do some of your notes and uh, clarify certain things that you're going to sort of talk about or, or bring up. And this is cert certainly the case here. So anyways, it is 23 hours and uh, 48 minutes into the fourth day of December uh, 2021. I'm coming here just at the end of things. Uh, I've been, I did the Yowie vlogs, I went through the, I went to the Yowie, Yowie vlogs, uh, from there, I, I think I, you know, I'm, I'm here at the, at the Leroy's right now, and I think I'm going off to, uh, uh, It's Our Life next, I'll be doing, uh, going to, um, Our Family Nest in, in, in a bit, so sort of see what they've got up, because uh, it's Vlogmas and everyone's vlogging every day, so, uh, I typically do vlog every day, but uh, <laughs> I'll be putting the title Vlogmas up uh, for the vlogs. Mm. Oh. This is why I'm not going up. When your body is very fatigued, it's harder to keep it warm. And this is sort of the condition that's going on right now, and, well, uh, not a good thing. One of the things I'm working on is looking at the history of naval battles to show how the English took over and the English sort of... You, you, the dynamic that we have today sits between uh, basically the English and the Germans. This is they're, they're, they're sort of the, the face-off. And the, the Germans had a lot of, large role in South America because of the Spanish. And there was an alliance with the Spanish and the Germans. So, to understand how history works out, we have to look at, in terms of current history, we have to look at how France was kind of bypassed, even though France was the one who, in, in, in some senses, got things rolling in terms of the Holy Roman Empire. It kind of ended up the odd man out and not really winning much of anything. Uh, and they really had to be helped along. A large chunk of what was going on uh, for the French was basically uh, the other uh, European nations were carrying them, and they really didn't do much on their own. Then we go back and look at Voltaire, and Voltaire didn't do much of anything. He was a playwright who basically took information and ideas from other people and kind of wrote plays about them, and he called them satires, but because he didn't, didn't actually know the materials and wasn't actually correct in the materials, uh, he was supposedly, supposedly using a satire, uh, it ended up being more just about mocking someone and making fun of them because they, they, they didn't think the way Voltaire did. Uh, this is, and ironically enough, this is where the liberals, this is where the Democrats come out of. Well, this is the whole history of that, well, making fun of people who don't agree with your ideas because you think your ideas are the best things around. So... You know, everybody else must be wrong because uh, you're right. Uh, but these things do take a, time, a bit of time to look through. Uh, I spent the last uh, five hours today, uh, I have not done yet, looking through things. I've got sort of a good lead on what I want to see. And I've got a structure, but now I have to go further in to see how things kind of play themselves out. And that way, uh, tomorrow night, I'll be back for the observation vlog, and hopefully I'll be able to start working on in, uh, in fixing up the, the notes that will be for the uh, notes vlog and sort of get, bring get uh, move forward in there as well, uh, because there's a lot a lot of large chunk of notes involved in world history. Uh, most of your people at the top uh, believe in notes; they have a strong sense of suspicion. So, uh, superstition, if you will. Uh, 
there's more to it than simply superstition in terms of tossing it off. Oh, it's all superstition. Uh, there is actually more to it than uh, most people realize. And uh, anyways, this is our uh, bit into this and uh, onward with uh, onward with the uh, with the YouTube stroll. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.